Most y'all know I've been building a log cabin, and I appreciate you watching and following along. You know, it's a blessing to me to share what I'm doing, even though I don't typically go by the book. But one book I had that was given to me by my stepdad, 1995. And I've been working on this cabin four years this November. And I was still working. I hadn't retired or anything. So, But he never get, did get to see me start it. And I don't know if I'll get to finish it or not. I hope so. But anyway, I just want to encourage anybody that has an idea that they want to build one, go ahead and get started because you don't want to wait. 1995, that's been 25 years ago, and uh, took me 21 years to get started. But he says, I hope that you enjoy this book. All you need is time and energy. I wanted to do what you are planning to do, so I gave you this book with the expectation that you will find it interesting, too. Best of luck with your construction. Also, if I can help, let me know. So anyway, uh, working on the porch reminded me of this book. And I got my floor joist laid out according to the drawings in the book. And uh, that's one thing I used. Y'all might remember, I didn't deck my floor until I got the roof on. I didn't want water damage on my decking. You can see that right there. That's how I did it. And I boxed it in inside the uh, log walls. And it's not in here, but I decided that this would work. I don't know if you can see that. I decided this would work on the outside, too, for the, uh, the uh, porch. When I was building it, so I made the uh, the piers, the concrete piers, wide enough to where the ledger board for the porch could sit on the edge of it, and then the ledger board for the floor inside sat on the other side of the seal log. So they sandwiched the seal log on the inside and the outside, and that's where I got the idea of building the floor like this. So I'll show you what I'm talking about and we're about about to finish up on the uh, the uh, piers for the porch and so we'll be setting the floor joists. Uh, you can see this here is seal log and on the inside so for the uh, ledger board for the floor and on the outside this is the ledger board for the the uh, porch. And you can see I made it wide enough where they could both sit on both sides of the seal log. And when you're doing this, you got to remember, I didn't allow for the butt end of the uh, seal log, so it run a little wide on me toward the end. So your foundation has to be at least wide enough to handle the, uh, the seal log plus another three inches. But it's going to work out fine. But this was the idea of it, was to uh, be able to support the floor on the inside and the floor in the porch with the same pier. Okay, here's the front of the cabin. Here's all the post piers we're setting for the porch. And they're all cut off and, and uh, level with the top of the line. And so I thought I'd show you. This is the last one. I thought I'd show you how we do it. With my string line on elevation, what I do is I mark right behind the line, just like so. You won't be able to see it, but it's there. And then I'll go to each side and level across from the bottom of the line and mark at the top of my level.
and do that on both sides. Alright, and then what I do, I get down there at high level, and then I go in and I eyeball this line with the mark I just made, and then I put another mark in between this one and that one. Same way over here. I'll eyeball it, get down there to the elevation. All those lines are same height as the string line. And then all the dudes connect the dots. Basically like that. And then I'll cut it off. Alright, when I cut it off, I'm going to do it just like as if it was horizontal. I was just making a horizontal cut on a log. I'll start in here, roll around that way, roll back around this way, and then go to the center, keeping my, my saw level. Also on the tapered end of the seal log, you can see this, this end log will drop down. And so on opposite corners, I had to notch the next log up an inch and a half so that my uh, deck boards will go on top of the joist. So I'll cut a, cut a line straight across here and across the end of it and notch all that out and then reseal it.
Okay, this is my corner pier. And all these on the outside are on a string line. So I'm going to come in three inches because it's going to be a double board that is screwed together for the outside of my porch. And then it's a two by eight, so I'll come down about seven quarter on the side and then notch it three inches in and seven and a quarter inches down all the way through. We got three inches off chalk line. And then we want to come down seven and eight from the string line down. So I'll give it a mark down here, seven and eight. And then I'll uh, use my level. Do it a lot like it. I'll go ahead and come straight down this side and this side. And then I'll get my mark here on the front and then just go around it. Just like I did when I cut it off. I think they all mark good. I'm going to run with it. I found out. The uh, laying out my notches and the depth, keeping it level. Made it a lot easier using the uh, square to get the depth.
I got three sides of the porch notched out. You can see my corner post here. And uh, like I said, there's going to be uh, two two by eights sitting on the post. But I got them notched out, and the, the uh, joists you can see are cut off. And everything's worked out real good. We'll go down through there, and this is already completed and notched out. All the way down, the other end is too. So, we'll go back down here on the front side of the cabin, and uh, i show you what we've got going on there. Okay, we're at the front, and I've got most of these marked for the notches. I don't know how well you can see that. But anyway, I gotta go all the way down and uh, finish up marking them and uh, cutting them out. And we'll be setting Joyce. Oh, okay.
Dieu. All right, I'm setting my uh, band boards. The one thing before I go to trouble of uh, setting setting my two baits up there, I just double check to make sure that. The board's gonna be above the top of my pier. I don't want I don't want to have to fool with it later when I get my, my beam up there. I have to cut this down because I don't want it interfering with my deck boards. That's why I went with seven and a quarter on on the notch and the uh, board board seven and three eighths. Okay, I got my. Inside band board, got it set down the back, and then I'm gonna come down this way. I'm still in shade here, so I'll come down through here and uh, set this one. And uh, I'll uh, show you how I'm going about this and give you all the details on the next video. I appreciate y'all watching, and uh, Lord be willing, I'll see you later.